All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to One Game One Life. My name is Typo, and this is Cyberpunk 2077 Part 103. And while I was cleaning up our inventory, I did realize we're wearing a lot of Johnny's stuff, and we never even looked at the replica jacket. Look at that. We never even looked at it. Looks good. I'm going to keep rocking it for now. But yeah, so we're wearing Johnny's shoes, Johnny's aviators, and Johnny and a replica of Johnny's jacket. Uh, there's not much stuff left that we could really be wearing otherwise. I just thought that was pretty cool. Yeah, it would be a slight upgrade, but no. We're going to keep going with what we have right here for now. I like it. Looks good. The uh, replica jacket is not quite as good as the other stuff we have, but it doesn't have a, a slot used up yet. So, I was looking at that. <coughs> it is blue, which means the best we can do is a blue mod. Which isn't the best. 50 armor would make it competitive-ish. At least make it as good armor-wise. No explosion damage reduction or mitigation strength, but it looks cool. We'll rock it for now. Let me... What's our explosion... <coughs> Sorry, armor. <coughs> Sorry. Alright, 66% still. Oh, we're fine. Alright, let's go drive to the oil, oil field for Johnny. See what's going on. Woo! A little slippery. Okay, gotta be around here somewhere. I can't believe they bothered to truck it all the way out here. Ah, better than the junkyard where I landed. No future. This does look better than my... Where they dug me up. So that's how it is. That's how what is, Johnny? Nothing here at all. Dumped you out here, man. What did you expect? Headstone, <coughs> flag, and flowers. No, I, I don't know. A marker, something, anything. We'll figure something out. you write. Here lies Johnny Silverhand. The guy who saved my life. Uh, terrorist and raging asshole. Night City legend. Relentless rock boy. I'm trying to give him his due credit without giving him too much credit because this guy really is not a good person from talk? what I've seen, but I think I can give him a Night City legend. That goes without saying. Night City legend. Sounds good, but what does it really mean? What did I achieve shouting chipping in to a bunch of angry pimply kids? What's gotten into you, man? What's gotten into you? Where's Johnny? I'm the fucking greatest silver hand. Don't even recognize you. Maybe I'm done pretending. Listen, I realize I fucked up a lot of things. Yeah, I'd say so. Either let down or used every last person who gave me their trust. Blind, selfish bastard that I was. But I've managed one thing for now. Not to fuck this up. What we have. Are you sure about that? Nah, fuck that up too. Yeah, that's the truth. What you did with my body earlier? Whatever, I'll give him his moment, I guess. Want to talk? Been a long, bumpy road, but we made it. Most people I thought were my friends. They couldn't even stand to be in the same room with me. You're fucking closest to me by a long shot. There, 24-7. And yet, you don't seem to hate my living guts. Shame we didn't talk like this earlier. Absolutely. Too bad we didn't talk like this earlier. Would have made things easier. Never found the right moment. Remember waking up at Victor's not knowing about me? I'm seeing things. I'm scared. Then moaning at Misty's about how you didn't want to die. Remember you whining for smokes in the middle of the night, complaining about 
not being able to kill me. That's tough. <laughs> we'd make it this far. Still feel like you can't breathe? Still feel like you can't breathe in here? Nah. Not saying it's great, but it's different. Sometimes when I wake up, feels like I'm back for a while. What do you mean, back? Well, like I got this body to myself, like I'm free. Seconds later, feels like I'm missing something, something really important. Then I realize you're there, always were, and this stupid wave of relief washes over me. Wow. Damn. That's that's huge to unload on me right there. And the music's getting to me too. What is happening this already? Have similar dreams sometimes. That you never died, that I'm you. Not like I think what would Johnny do? It's more I do something and I feel fucking great. Like I've finally started to fit into this world. Hmm. Probably not a great sign. We better do something. Fast. When you said you let your friends down, did you mean Rogue? Rogue, Alt, Carrie, Santiago. Not all's lost yet. At least with Rogue. Can't pretend nothing's changed over 50 years. Can't just insert myself into her life. Already have. True that. You know, did promise her I'd take her to the movies long, long ago. Good idea. Call her for me. Ask if she's free some night. Thing is, you'd have to surrender control again. Dude. Oh my god, it went so bad last time. So bad last time. Is he actually coming around on me, though? Oh my god. Hey, what's up? I'm thinking because of how badly you did last time I gave you control over my body. <clears throat> Maybe Rogue can keep him in check? I don't know. Ugh. Yeah. I'll what am I him. doing? Okay. Let's Delta. Nothing to see here after all. Worth coming out all the same. Absolutely. Thanks, V. Of all the heads I could have popped up in, hella glad it was yours. Hella glad. Look at how good this game looks. Oh, it still gets me every time. Oh my god. Okay. Jesus, what am I doing? Uh, Rogue. That's what I'm looking for. No rogue? What? There you are. Wasn't well, alphabetical. V. Johnny wants to ask you out on a date. What do you think? Johnny's asking? Or is it you? Johnny? You're the one who said you got no trouble telling us apart. Okay. And where would we go? Where'd you want to go? Silver Pixel Cloud in North Oak. Okay. I'll swing by the afterlife. Pick you up. Oh, good. <laughs> okay, pick up Rogue in the evening. I need to go to this in the evening. Also, we need to we need to get a move on on that. Uh, uh, forgot to tell you, swing by in the evening. Got other things on my plate right now. All right. Okay, this evening then. Afterlife, I'll be there. Till then. Okay. Uh, okay. We need to get a move on. Pretty bad. Oh, let's let's go into the night in our dark caliber. What the? There you are. Okay, we, I, we need to get to Riot. Hopefully it's still considered the evening at like 11.30 or whenever we get there. <coughs> uh, camera? Okay, if you want to skip ahead like two minutes in the video so that you're uh, so that we're already at this quest marker, absolutely go go for it. I'm gonna leave the recording in because just the ambience of this game, the
the music, just being along for the ride. If you want to be along for the ride, you can be. If you don't, you don't have to be. So for those of you leaving me, I'll see you then. Music's kind of quieter than it usually is, isn't it? Really subdued. Oh my goodness. Sorry. As soon as I as soon as the car bounced and I lost control of it, I knew we were gonna hit that truck. V, Night City Legend for how many cars she's hit in her own. <laughs> uh, unfortunate but true. How was your little field trip to the oil fields? Some waste of time like the Ebenike? How come you didn't take along the oil fields? <coughs> Sorry about that. I don't need to stick my nose into every little thing. It was Johnny's business to take care of. Okay. Oh, I missed my turn. Something awful. What Sorry, everybody. City, your man stand here. Seal those windows and doors, folks. In fact, try to do it all. Oh, man. Go ahead. Do your thing. I like how we just roll with it. What? It, okay, you know what? I'm just moving you now because you're taking way too long. And then he speeds up when I'm trying to get by him. Perfect. The hostel area there. I don't think we've ever gone down this road right here. Oh, my favorite song. Hell yeah. Man, it's a shame we got it right as we pulled up. Mm, you look okay. Go in. No messing around. Did our street cred just pop us in here like that? Damn. Us cracks lyric. Ask about Liam. Find proof of Liam's betrayal. Okay. Riff and Fluff? Fisher Growls has died. I don't think we've read this one. Fisher Growls has died. Rapper Fishy Growls 21, widely respected in the Crunkcore crunk rap genre. I'm very positive. About as positive as my bad memory self can be that we didn't read this. And recognized best by last year's hit track Coma Blues, was found unresponsive in his New York apartment. The rapper's throat and wrist had been slit, and officials at the scene reported substantial property damage. Growls was discovered in a pool of his own blood, his right fist clenching what remained of his trachea and famous audio vox vocal distortion tech. <laughs> Auto-tune in your throat. Fishy Growls' agent did not confirm suspicions that the rapper suffered a cyberpsychotic break. <clears throat> Does the appearance of artists like Spectrum, Dizzy, Ghost Chaser, and all AI vs. AI Herald return to the chiptune era? This golden age of music from the mid-1980s was born in the time of 8-bit computers in the first video games. It made a massive resurgence in the 2030s. Anyone remember that retro trip chip craze? And it seems we're in the midst of yet another giant comeback. But maybe it's no great coincidence. Could it be just another in a line of corporate back trend promotions like last year's AI-generated God, God Ambient Fad? What? A topic that never fails to provoke discussion, soundtracks, and brain dance productions. Nova Prim or Bad Dream? Take our survey to let us know how you feel about having ambient sound added to the emotional buffet of virtues. Does it add a need a kick or muddle the sensual experience? Experience. Our experts have a lot of thoughts on the topic, so don't miss out on the next issue. And make sure your opinion's a spicy one, because it might just be one of our featured guest blurbs. Yeah, exaggerate your own opinion for the for the publicity, you know? Obviously. <clears throat> Can I ask him about Liam? Hmm. You look okay. Go in. No messing around. Guess not. Hey V, it's River. Question, would you be willing to testify against Holt and Han? Sure. With the G58 <clears throat> Might not be necessary, ask him just in case. Okay. Alright, guess I'm not talking to him. We'll go up here then. Oh, I can't run in here. That's interesting. 
can only walk. Ooh. That is interesting, actually. That's so rare in this game. What's up, big guy? Hey, Linda. Champagne to the VIP room. Stat. Okay, just let me give three their check. Nice tunes. Good work music. Yeah? Wouldn't know. I've filtered out music and other ambience since I started here. Would be deaf already if I hadn't. <laughs> I like his hair. It looks just like my real life hair. And his facial hair. What the is this me? I mean I don't have earrings, but that's like my hair and facial hair to a T. Busy night, huh? Okay, Real never mind. Busy. He's got like a mullet yeah. thing in the back. Just kidding. You looking to spill your sorrows? This ain't the time. Looking for Liam. <clears throat> Liam Northam. Ah, <sighs> that one. Fuck. Can't stand that gunk. From this Bad angle, tipper. looks like me. Uh huh. Plus, he's a jackass. Output's even worse. Output, huh? Hmm. Interesting. Anyway, where's he at? You know I can't tell you that. Can't, huh? But know what I can do? Crush your skull like a can of Nicola. Think if you really want to say no. Use that skull sponge while you still got it. In the VIP room with some new output. Ordered champagne, so it's a party. But, um, you didn't hear it from me, yeah? Sure. Say no more. Okay. What is this? Restrooms? Yeah. VIP room, you say? Access granted. Oh yeah, we're in. I know this isn't the way we're supposed to be going right away, but... I saw epic components, apparently. And I needed that in my life. Okay, now we can go. It's so weird not being allowed to run. Like, I'm hitting shift to sprint, and this is as fast as letting me move. It's very interesting. VIPs on the ground floor? What? Right. Let's see what's here. Yeah, Lutz. There's 700 eddies just cuz, okay. Anything in here I can use? No? Let's turn that off, just in case things get a little iffy. Hello, hello, everybody. This is not the way to the VIP room. That's the way to the VIP room. Really? That's a really wonky way to get some. That looks cool. Way to get somewhere. That was a whole lot of back and forth. <clears throat> what? Hey, so the Cthulhu has just emerged from the abyss. Sounds scary, right? Seriously, though, car is out of this fucking world. Barely even touch the gas, and next thing you know, you're burning rubber and your eyes are tearing up. Long story short, it's not for everyone. But something tells me if anyone can handle this beast, it's you. Why me? I'm not a good handler. Buy it and don't look back. Okay, we found another way to spend our money. We found another car. Who knew? Where is it at? Uh, purchasable vehicles. 76k. Oh, we can easily afford the Cthulhu. Yeah, we're all in there. Absolutely. It's right at our apartment, too. Huh. Other way, isn't it? Yep. Hey, what the hell are you doing here? You ordered champagne? Uh, you ordered champagne? Yes. And we'd like to enjoy it in peace. Oh, oh, okay. Sorry, system said the order was still open. I couldn't give two fucks about your system. Get out! Get the hell out! Or I'm gonna call security. Okay, then. Oh, oh, fuck. fuck. You heard what I just heard, no right? No privacy. Uh-huh. <clears throat> guy's cheating. Pet my life. Don't know. I mean, he's up to something, no doubt. But that back there... That was about something else. Yeah, minor deeds. Either way, she better keep away from him. She might not take you at your word. 
Huh? That's why I gotta clip the security cam footage. Beautiful. Okay. Yeah, that was very weird what just happened, but... Alright. <coughs> the cool didn't get us anywhere. Oh. Just go ahead and, uh... I'll be taking that. Lizzie! Hello? V? What's up? Got some intel on Liam. And? Is it what I thought? And it looks that way. Caught him in the VIP room with some chick. Ordered champagne. And? What do they talk about? Can't say. Don't think they talked for long. Mm, it's not much, but it's enough. Okay. Interesting. I'm sure there was something we didn't discover there that we could have discovered, but I think I blew that part. Interesting, interesting. Okay, uh, killing in the name until by best Isis is available to call. Okay. Yeah, we'll go by Cthulhu, yeah. And then Nocturne, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Really? We're still waiting on a best Isis call? Is that really what's happening right now? Alright, let's go by Cthulhu and drive that. Yeah, I'm gonna go pick it up. Where you at, Calburn? Hello? There it is. Jesus. Ooh, look at that speed. Alright, and then we'll go run by Rogue after we pick up this Cthulhu here. Yeah, I feel like I missed a detail somewhere in there by not handling things perfectly. Jesus Christ. Huh. Okay, well, we'll have to keep things open there. How high up do you think Cthulhu is? <laughs> Excellent control there being displayed by yours truly. Oh my god, we're still going up, huh? Whoa, okay. Okay, now it opened up. There it is, Cthulhu. Sure. Another vehicle for the collection. Okay. Radio Vexelstrom. I do love how it actually says the radio in there. Uh, I'll, I'll pass on that for now, though. Okay, let's do this. <laughs> okay. Alright, let's go find Rogue. From Unknown, thanks for your help. You're welcome. Okay, I can't stop thinking about this, so I'm just gonna unload it on you and you can ignore it if you wish. I've had it up to here with Saul. Does he truly think this family would be better off by selling its soul to a corp? I've never seen someone with their head so far up their ass. Nothing about this is going to end well. Got no love for the corpos either. Screwed me over more times than I care to remember. Still, gotta deal with them sometimes. Had the displeasure to make a deal with one the other day. Arasaka henchman by the name of Takamura. Slimy fucker with a mouthful of platitudes. Dude, come on! No, I love Takamura! So trust me when I say that I get you. Be listen to me. Working at a megacorp isn't a job like any other. It's an identity. I don't trust them, and frankly, anyone who deals with them is asking for trouble. Just be careful, alright? Oh, and thanks, by the way. I stopped thinking about Saul and started thinking about you. Much more pleasant. Yeah, worst part is you never know what's riskier. Dealing with corpse or turning your back on them. Especially when you're on your own. Look out for yourselves, okay? Probably better to keep a close eye on Saul. Thanks. Somehow I feel a little better already. It's as if talking to you has somehow unclouded my head. But no one thing is that the Aldecados, Aldecados joining up with the corpse can only end badly. I feel it in my gut. Hang in there, B. Yeah, we're working on it. 
We need to sleep soon, too. And then it'll be day 21, I believe. The final day that Vic actually gave us. So I'm pretty sure we're going to be living past Vic's expected uh, life expectancy for us. I'm loving how this car controls, by the way. It, it's floppy. It bounces a lot, but somehow more controllable than a lot of other cars I've driven. Alright, we're gonna park her right here so we can go pick up Rogue. Alright, Cthulhu, I'll drive you again next time just to see if we can get a, more of a feel for you. Even though that was a very good start. And then, yeah, after this date with Rogue, we'll probably sleep if we're not already gonna be sleeping Some anyway. crew taking you along as bait? That a compliment? <coughs> you look... different. Try again. Maybe you'll find some charm third time around. <laughs> hey, Rogue. Ready? Again, you. We going? Where's Johnny? Couldn't make it after all? I'm just a driver. I'm just your driver. See, you keep him on a short leash. <laughs> Wise beyond your years. <laughs> this Johnny's Porsche? <laughs> Where'd you get it? That's what was in the container. The one Grayson was talking about. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Got a lot of memories in this car. Let's go. Go with the drive in movie theater with Rogue. Favorite place? Once, probably. Haven't been there in ages. Drive ins went out of style a century ago. But Silver Pixel's still hanging in there. Sounds like a preem place for a day. Thought so too. Which is why I suggested Johnny take me there a million years ago. So it wasn't his idea. Of course not. His idea of a romantic night out was blowing up Arasaka HQ. True. God, look at this city. Absolutely beautiful. All right, V. Tell me what's going on. For real. Meaning... Johnny doesn't do a thing without an ulterior motive. So what's in play this time? Johnny's changed. He really does want to spend some time with you. No hooks, no lines, no sinkers. Right. I'm hoping that's right. He is a hard guy to trust. I can't believe I'm giving him a second chance with this, by the way. The first time went so horrendous. Nope. It ended out working Just out, but the way he did it. A selfless Johnny Silverhand. Apparently you're a positive influence on him. Of course I am. My name is Aaron Kickball, and this is WNS News. In today's international segment, reports of the okay. have emerged from Alaska. Oh my god. I hit forward instead of backwards. That was... <laughs> I meant to hit backwards on the keyboard to slow down and make the turn, and instead all I did was speed up. Absolutely beautiful. Like that. That's what I meant to do. <laughs> and I hit the wrong button and sped up instead. The perfect turn right there. Amazing. Okay, this was closed last time I checked, so I hope it's actually open now. Here we are. Closed? It really has been a while, I guess. Technically, it's open. Been here before. No way in. Practically have the place all to ourselves. Okay. What's up, Johnny? So for pixel crowd, cloud is growing. No, no. Try and not. get the projector started. I'll get us some seats. Okay. Sure thing. Right. Let's go check the entrance. Is over here. I was way ahead of you, man. Been here before. Search the storage okay, area. Looks like I found the projector. Yes. Good. You wouldn't happen to know how to get it up and running. Look at that. Last played Bushido 10. Perfect. 
Looks like a spurt of runny shit. V, we're at a drive-in. Movie's the last thing we care about. <laughs> Just want some background noise, a little blood, tits, and gore, that sort of thing. Bushido will give you that. All right, V, run along. I'll take it from here. Have fun, you crazy kids. <laughs> what a perfect answer. Oh, man. Grabbed us the best spot. Hop on up. Okay, I do have control at the moment. That's how you imagine this evening going? Always knew things would have to change for us to just go out and catch a movie. Never imagined they'd change this much. <laughs> Let's pretend it's 2015, huh? We just met, and I got no idea what a bastard you are. Sure, lured you to the movies so we could bang, by the way. <laughs> it's technically a possibility, you know. Okay, so it's 2015. If you could do it all again, what would you change? Anything at all? Um... I think I do carry. Do anything not to lose you. I do everything in my power not to lose you. Johnny, I... Hey, hey, hey. What's this? Nothing. It's just... I had a lot of time to think while you were away. What ifs and all that. Sure, that's it. Nothing about Grayson or Smasher. What? What's Smasher got to do with anything? Get the sense you still got a thorn in your side there. Cause I do. I'm irate, disappointed, but rather not think about it now. Okay. Think you might be hiding something from me. Johnny, there's a heap of things I'm hiding from you. <laughs> uh. But all we got's this one night. It's more than I ever could have asked for. Rogue, I'm here on borrowed time in a borrowed body. But I'm here. Johnny's doing the thing. Look away, kids. These crazy kids are not doing... This is not what the Bible would have wanted. Johnny, I can't. It's not right. Mean it not fair to V? Not fair to you. Tried so hard to pretend nothing's changed. To pretend I'm the same rogue you knew. Actually managed to fool myself for a little. Get back on my own. Rogue! Go get her, Johnny. Yo, Johnny. Move, dude. 
At least go talk to her. Wow, he stuck to his word and gave him gave me the body back just like that. What? Look at Johnny! Oh my god, a redeemed soul practically. Rogue's gone. Yep. Guess things did not go swimmingly. Nope. Was gonna be a nice night at the drive-in. Now she's mad and won't tell me what about. Any guesses? Remember Grayson? How they spoke? How weird it was? Weird's not the word, I don't think. He was toying with her. Could be something to that. Got a mullet over. For now, take me to North Oak. That's supposed to help you figure out Rogue? No. Carrie. Tell you once we're there. Movie was a turd wrapped in crepe paper. <laughs> Wait, now we're gonna go see Ch go see Carrie? What? Bushido and chill achievement. Amazing. Meet Johnny by the North Oak sign. What is happening in this game right now? So many... I just... <laughs> ever since we started doing these side missions, things have been so much more interesting all the time. I love it. Is this my Cthulhu? Yeah. Give it another ride here. What is that blue bar in the middle of my screen, though, for real? It's still there. Interesting. Uh, can I have my glasses back? Thanks. I'm gonna try to call Bess Isis real quick. Just to see if they're waiting on me calling Bess Isis. Guess not. High magnitude earthquake. Woo! But thanks to their Suze Lake 2 Look at Cthulhu pop. Lands, the miners were able to survive without All right. access to food and fresh water. It's, prob it's probably going to be a long episode. I have not kept track of, track of the time at all, but I do want to do this one last thing here. See what's going on with holding on. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, we almost got away with it. Oh! You know, just a little something. <laughs> Get out of the way. We're invested in this now. Bumper car time. What was that? That was nuts. Okay, sure. Is Carrie still going to be alive too? Because that would be nuts. That would be really cool. Avoiding cars and traffic is so difficult. Without having to wait for them, because, you know, forget that. What is this? How did I never see this little this tiny oasis? Well, so why are we here exactly? Heard Carrie got himself a buck of mansion here. Done well. Where'd you hear anything about Carrie? In and about town. Scream sheets are full of shit about him. Oh, right. You weren't around. Mm-hmm. Your boy's night out. So what? Wanna pay him a visit? Yep. Seems as good a time as any. Always did have some beef with him, didn't you? Me? Nah. He's the one who couldn't decide whether to fuck me or boot me out of the band. Which were you hoping for? Problem with Care was he had a dick. Meaning I wasn't interested. But he was missing the balls. Only posed as a rebel to fit in. Actually desperate not to step on any toes. Arasaka's especially. You get along any better with the rest of the band? Others didn't give a rat's dick about me. <coughs> Nancy just enjoyed controlling us. Treated us all like sex-scavenging half-wits. <laughs> which was kind of true for Henry, actually. Tried to get with Denny. Thing was, those two rarely shared the same state of consciousness at once. So, I gotta hit Carrie's digs. Look around. Critique the drapes. Know what they're writing about him? He's depressed. Attempted suicide. What really worried he wants to hurt himself? 
Who knows? Either way, could give him some pointers. Meaning you want to go in person. Gotta hand you the reins again. Yes. Behaved myself last time, didn't I? I think I warrant another furlough for good behavior. For good behavior. <laughs> mm -hmm. First rogue, now carry. Who's <coughs> next on the list of conjugal visits? Nobody. Just so happens the list of people I consider friends and who are still alive is pretty damn short. Exactly why I need to talk to Carrie. What was that about attempted suicide? Amateur hour. Didn't even cobble together the right audience. Tried to put a bullet through his skull in his room. Bodyguard took his gun like candy from a baby. <laughs> could just be the rumor mill. Sure, could. But I want to know. Okay. But I want to know what you plan to do. Nothing stupid, I promise. Just want to see how he's doing. How you plan to tell him it's you? Could be dealing with some real personal shit right now. Might not be the best time to mess with his head. V Care was always dealing with personal shit. That's why, in spite of everything else, we got along. Don't worry. I'll play it by ear, sensitively. He's not. First He's things not. First, we gotta get into that house. Okay. okay. Just let me know when you want to take the wheel. Okay. We could just go this way, but I think this will be something we do next time. Also to get rid of this bar on the middle of the screen, because I think that's bugged out there and not supposed to be there. So this will be a good place to pick up. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, consider giving a like. If you really enjoyed it, consider subscribing. Either way, thank you so much for joining me on this journey and joining V and Johnny. Man, uh, Johnny might be turning around on me. We'll see. I find that a little hard to believe, but so far, so good. And uh, our voice actress who plays V, um, the same person who does Makoto from Persona 5, love her voice. She's killing it as well. I love listening to her talk. And yeah, that'll be it. So I'm going to go get somewhere that actually gets us able to talk to Carrie, and I'll see you then. So, adios. <laughs> what am I doing?